Welcome everybody to another Marvel Legends review and this time we've got the Walgreens exclusive Magic Ileana Rasputin the sister of Colossus in the X-Men um, this figure was released before in the 2015 San Diego Comic Con Book of Vigante exclusive box set where she came with Doctor Strange Brother Voodoo and Dormammu and a lot of people were clamoring for her re-release so Hasbro being the absolute shy hawks they are made her an exclusive again uh, Walgreens exclusive which of course over here is code for very very expensive more than usual the thing was one Silver Surfer was one Mystique was one and so many others as well so the, the, these figures always end up being a, lot, a bit more expensive than retail figures but alas I have got her and today we will be reviewing her and going through the good things and the bad things and all accessories and what have you so join me over here as I finish up this review and tell me what you think thanks so here we are with Ileana Rasputin at the review desk and um, as you can see she comes with a blue flame for her end a sword with all another blue flame she also comes with a red version of Lockheed that came with Kitty Pride. Now, I'm not sure. Is this Lockheed or can someone else tell me otherwise? She also comes with this red skull with an articulated jaw, which is pretty cool. And it has a peg hole as well, so I'm pretty sure it could be used as her actual head. So I'm not going to try, but she also comes with her sword, which is awesome. The color it's like a translucent -y kind of plastic, but it's thick as well. I don't know. It's how, I don't know how to describe it. It's really cool anyway. Once again, you could probably have a lot of the stuff she has fit on her person. Does that sound right? I don't know. You can get that other sword in there as well. I'll do it in a sec. Let's get this one off for a sec. And yeah, she does hold both swords. So let's get all the weapons and stuff off and we can go through our articulation <coughs> first. So let's start off with the head. Head goes down this far. Doesn't go up that far, doesn't go to the side that far. Moves. It's quite hindered by its this whole hair piece. Arms go all the way. Elbows single jointed. Um, go out this far, out that far. She does have a belly joint or whatever they call it here. An ab joint, ab joint, whatever it is. Doesn't go around, no joint here either. She has double jointed knees. She has rocker ankles and they go all the way up and all the way down. She has tie swivels at her ties. Boot articulation also. Now let's have a look at the sculpt. The sculpt is pretty badass if I'm fair. <clears throat> if I'm going to be fair, the, the, sculpt, the spikes are all on point here. Really cool. The hair piece is part. This part here is kind of part of the hair piece, if you, I think. If you look back under there. Um, paint wise there shouldn't be much problems with it because it's all black more or less but I did spot a biggie if you turn it around on her hair there is some paint spillage from the black onto her supposedly completely blondy hair so um, that's not nice that's not good it's kind of unfortunate but look it's not going to take away from the, the figure itself which is fantastic the eyes if you can see them, they're the tiniest bit derpy, I think the term is. But they look fine, it's only on real close inspection that they look a bit funny. But um, overall, pretty happy with her. She comes with a mountain of accessories, which is always good. And uh, good to have one of the new mutants. And they're releasing a lot more now as well. So let's 
do the old comparison thread. Apologies about the dog in the background. Smith has released the hound. <laughs> there he is with Lauren's head. Here she is with Spider Man, about the same size. Here she is with the 1000 ties and synthetic human. <coughs> Excuse me. Here she is with Jared Leto Joker. Here she is with Marvel Legends Forge. And that is my review of Magic. It's a kind of magic. Oh god, I'm going to hell after that. <laughs> but uh, that's her. She's a really good figure. I'd recommend her to anyone, of course. There is the whole exclusive tax on these figures. But I think they offshot it a bit by giving her so many bits and pieces. So I didn't feel that bad about getting her in the end. So yeah, definite buy for me. As you can see, I've bought it. But I would recommend anyone else to buy it. So that's been my review of Magic. Please like, please subscribe, please comment. And please leave a notification. Please hit the notification bell to stay subscribed, to stay, to stay notified. God damn it, I can never get it right. <laughs> so, thanks guys. Come back again soon where I'll have more reviews, video content, whatever. Bye.